Ai vahti, että Jenny törpaito ei. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they die. You have a hell of it. What is that? work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hallowed. What? And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. I was trying to see if I needed to shoot that, uh... Oh, what the hell are you? Oh, God, I need to get further away from that person. Ranger second class something. Oh, he just disappeared on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Second, oh, he's got a name, so he must be all like a boss or something. You got a name. Baloney is my first name. Yeah, we're going to cleanse this real quick. Clean it up a bit. We are the assistant janitor, as he said. We're here to clean shit up. I mean, the janitor did say, maybe the janitor's more to the janitor than we realize. There was a photo of him. Maybe he meant it when he said, you work for me now. The janitor, like, maybe there's more to that janitor than I originally gave him credit for. Interesting. Communications. We're on the right track. Yeah, we are. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. Wow. Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Oh. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Not progress of these OOPs, man. You know me. That humming, though, that consistent humming is creepy. I want to free these people so that I can stop hearing this damn humming in my ear. It's like a religious prayer that would never end. Oh, there's something up there. How do I, how do I get up there? I'm not going to be able to just climb up a wall. Can I Spider-Man these lockers? Maybe I can move this ladder. Climb up the ladder. Climb up, climb up the ladder. There we go. Okay, it worked. Why it worked, I don't know, but it worked. Stereo house memory. I don't know what the material. I'm hoping if we collect, connect, ah, uh, connect, collect enough material, are these assets they all form into something useful? But yeah, it's like those boxes that we're opening. There was never any hint or indication that we were supposed to open them. We just opened them. Like th this game doesn't really. It definitely doesn't try to hold your hand. It's not gonna oversimplify things. Like it's either you know how to play games or you don't. Bathrooms always hold something creepy and great in them. Nope, not this one though. Just emptiness. I like I like how the doors just open by themselves. We have no control over the door opening. Hi. Bye. I will take that memory. Thank you. I don't know why I'm taking the memory. It doesn't really seem to hold a purpose for me, but I will take it. Hey, I'm going to try and free you. I couldn't. They didn't give me a chance to interact with you. Sorry, bud. I tried. Oh, whoa. Hey, I'm coming to save you. It's a... Ooh. Don't knock the hell out of him. Yikes. He's not dead, though. He just knocked out. Hey. Must be the hiss. What does this do? Max occupancy, six persons. Boom, with the boom, with the boom, with the boom, with the boom. Why is it only six people allowed? It's probably the air. Probably like too many people and the air would run out quicker than it normally would. 
I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, energy recovery, speed, energy, health recovery per element pickup. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool. Correspondence. Book Club Samson. Book Club Notes for Penny by L. Samson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was all right. The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade city planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms? And that space dog fight between those two ace pilots signed me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't even feel necessary at all. Oh my god, there's more to this. This is only two of five. There's more to this story. And we will find out what else he has to say about space adventures. I do, I'm not, you know, I, I was, it seems like I'm complaining about finding all this stuff, but I actually do enjoy all these collectibles. Like, there's, the story, the lore, even the extra stuff that really doesn't seem to have a purpose has a purpose to me. It just, it informs the world, you know? It makes it seem more lived in, so I do enjoy that. Dead letters. Object of power. Oh. Like whoa. Off whoa, 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 whoa. Crouch to take, finally I can crouch, are you kidding me? Not even the button I would prefer to crouch with, but we're crouching with it. So, uh, do I get closer to it or? Oh, God. Hey, hey, friend. Oh, God. Hey. Don't get mad at me. I'm just doing my job. And my job is to destroy you. I'm the director, don't you see? I am the director. Personal mod, energy boost. Now, how does a personal mod work? If I just put those. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, wait. It's higher. What do I have right now? I just have a. Health recovery per element plus 20. I wonder if I can, can I get up here? Oh, would have been mighty cool if I could have. Go down. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. We're good. We're good. Don't know what I'm gonna do, but we're good. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, this is not how we go. What What do you want me to do? Aha! I found it. Oh, I'd be scared if I were you, because I am definitely coming upstairs. We gon' party. Like it's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. What is it? Is it a canister? What's the object of power? What's the uh, OP? What's the oops? Here we go. Here we go. So do I just like go up there and grab it or? Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I want it. What is it? Oh, it's the floppy disk. Oh, that means we're gonna find the fish too? That'd be dope. I wanna see the fish. The cursing flying fish. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The boards in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Oh my god. Hold to grab highlighted objects, release the low. Oh, 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 oh my god, I am all powerful! All right, what's going on, everybody? As you can probably tell, it's a new day. Unfortunately, the last recording had ran so long that I couldn't fit it all in one episode, but so short I couldn't make it a second episode, so we had to kind of piece it together. So this is where we're at right now, um, exploring our new badass powers. Oh, yeah, that feels so good. So damn good. All right, here we go. That feels amazing. That is a beautiful-ass mechanic. Yeah, buddy. I mean, she just feels powerful as all hell, dude. Look at that. Launching the hell out of those things. I almost want to just carry one with me the entire way through. Launch, align the cube thingamajig into the hole, slot to advance score. All right. 
I can do that. Oh man, that just feels great. Give me another one. Just give give me another one. Can I? Oh, and you can maneuver while you're holding it. That's great. So I'm not stuck. I can't like not jump. Oh wait, I lost it. I stand corrected. There are limitations to how cool it is. Throwing. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Use launch to complete the astral plane challenge. Now I wonder if these are all optional or no matter what, we're gonna explore all of these and they're gonna be part of the main store. Destroy the copies fakes made up with your new ability. Oh, you ain't gonna tell me twice. We Superman in this. Superman in that, ah, Superman in that, ah, ah. You get a rock in your face, yeah, you get a rock in your face. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm running out of rocks. Apparently I can't pick these up. Oh wait, no, I'm just out of stamina, hold on. Oh, I'm back in the game. Oh, I'm back at it. Who wants some? You want some. Whew. That's a one-shotter. It's a no-hitter quitter. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Unstable matter. Okay, well, you're gonna, I'm going to complete that achievement for sure. This ability is just so dope. I don't. I wonder if she got this ability from becoming the director or if she already had this from the incident that took place in her childhood. Like, what... Why is she able to, oh wait, no, she picked up the floppy disk, that's right, and the floppy disk gave her this power, so, that's right, but she seems so adept at it, like, I guess it didn't come with, like, too difficult instructions. Nice. The hiss noise is burning. You must stop, mute them, director. Oh, it's a collective, okay, all right. Well, as long as I keep getting cool abilities, you can count on me for my help, my assistance. Keep them coming. Kill. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. What is moving up there? What is that thing? The hell? Okay, well, you know what? I feel like these go boom, so, uh, how about. Boom! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know if, like, kick ass music is supposed to be playing right now. And we're just not going to get to hear it because I turned off all copyrighted music. That's all right. The sounds of gunshots and their death will uh, satisfy me. Hold on. I don't even need to use a bullet, dude. I'm going to use somebody's laundry. Ah, oh, okay. There seems to be, like, some kind of auto assist uh, as well when you're using that ability. Because my aim is jacked up. There's no way I'm making some of these throws. Who's, who's, oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Got it, got it. Head on, laundry attack. Laundry. And then as far as you, buddy, huh, pop goes the weasel, my friend. Pop goes low. Oh, yeah. Told you, told you. You can't stop this. You can't stop this. Wait. There we go. All right, where you at? All right, I like how it's like it's just like anything is uh able to be picked up. Oh wait, I got a box. You ever been hit with a 40 kilometer box? 40, 40 mile per hour box? Blah hour blocks? Blah hour box? It's a blah hour box. All right, let's get some health and uh yeah. What's next? Proceed through the communications department. Did we miss this or did we gather this? It's it's nothing. Here we go. Nope, guess not. We're still not a director. We're just the lowly assistant janitor. I think we explored this room pretty. pretty oh, laundry attack. Laundry! That had some, some powder in it. Sorry, man. It's my unfinished bleach. Yeah, but. Oh, you're not dead. Now you are. Strange things are happening to me. We we definitely already went through there. Okay, we need to move forward here. All right. Okay. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. 
Right. I remember that. I you didn't need to remind me. I remember what Emily said. I wonder like what their fate is while they're suspended up there. Like, are they conscious? Uh, uh, I swear I saw it's this damn phone. Like, are they conscious of um being suspended in the air or being taken over? Like, were one of those things where like, you're aware of everything, but your body is, you know, no longer in your control, so you're basically a prisoner of your own body? Or who said that was like the worst thing? Oh yeah, Jordan Peele was talking about his movie uh, Get Out and how when he was coming up with the concept of being sunken into the further and still being there, but your body no longer being under your control, being trapped in your body would be like the worst thing you could uh you could experience aside from like death. Or are they completely and totally controlled? Ah, mail room. But we're not level one because we're a lowly we're a lowly janitor uh, uh director okay need to find a key card who's got my key card is it in the bathroom women's bathroom nope if I was a key card where would I hide myself? Second floor? Would a key card hide on the second floor? Would that be a good spot for it to be secured? God, I love our director's access, man. We just have... Aha! There you are! Clearance level, level one. Glad that somebody could share their level one access with the director. Really appreciate that. Make sure I didn't miss any papers. Or, like, collectibles, because I swear... We're not gonna pull an Alan Wake. We're not gonna forget like eight papers. Be eight papers away from 100%. Aha, see? You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Okay. Why is that chair spinning over there still? Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have and the body had been there a week he said guests had stayed there sleeping with the corpse a foot below him they only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since i happily took the room i fell asleep pretty quick checking under the bed first of course no ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights, but when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. Kind of ghost type. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. It's all good. Like a... overnight, we'll be right back. Like listening to uh, Night Springs from Alan Wake all over again, and I mean I know, oh, I was gonna stop anybody from ever having listened to that again. I know it's like the same developers between each game, I think, right? Remedy for both Alan Wake and this. So I mean, of course the influencers are there. Maybe they just like the idea of listening to a radio program while exploring creepy. What what's going on here? Hey, buddy. Dude, did I just take the concrete from the grass? Oh, that is incredible. That is dope. That, I, it just, the powers on this feels so damn good, man. 
And I only have one. I mean, I have a punch, too, that seems to be telekinetic in nature. But we definitely get an item for that. That just happened to be there. Is it another program? Oh, thank gosh. Like I said, I love the collectibles. Man, It'd be it's just so long. And the worst thing about that... Ooh, we got a new weapon mod. Let me check that out real quick. But yeah, like I said, it's like all the extra stuff informs the world, sure. But I, it's kind of hard to blame anybody not wanting to watch an episode when it's nothing but reading or... Uh, or listening to programs which may be interesting i know they're interesting to me but it doesn't make for great viewing does it this must open the door but didn't i pick one up upstairs too just aha uh -huh. i knew there's some documents around here i probably missed i don't think so tomasi willow awe outcome sure why not Hit me with it. Oh, we got a lot. Okay, the Bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle, handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our demolition experts are instructed in the use of explosives and dimensions with distinct physical laws, making them important assets of engineering for engineering work as well as combat situations. His demolition experts are the only observed his variations to wield a specially, specially built rocket propelled grenade that is designed to identify and track entities once fired, making them a threat whose termination should be prioritized in combat scenarios. I find it remarkable that the HIS restrict usage of this weapon to the Bureau personnel who train specifically for its use. What does this tell us about its behavior? Can it not pass along new information to corrupted entities? Still too many unknowns. Refer to file who gives a for full report. That is interesting, though, that why, why isn't the collective amass that same amount of information that the individual has? Rangers. The Rangers are the Bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. Their hills corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to corruption, Rangers were trying to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat bound during all response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His Rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced, ta advanced tactics taught by Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armor. His Rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by shielding of dense His resonance capable of stopping bullets. All right, I have a power for that. Considering the advanced training the His Rangers are capable of applying to this situation, is it feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree? Or is the His able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Further observation is required. But if it's a collective organism, if it's a hive mind, the whole hive should be able to... Um, why is this all I had? Oh, I kept saying I had two unread. I was like, I know I just read them. Uh, floppy disk. Uh, containment procedure must be contained in itself. No other loose material. The object is an eight-inch diskette. This reminds me of a SCP, though. Eight-inch diskette containing Soviet-era nuclear launch codes. When bound, allow the object allows what the paraulitarian to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. The object is currently bound for research purposes. It's bound to me now. Stolen from a Soviet military base located in by agents and with the CIA, the diskette contained launch codes to Soviet missiles, believed to be reserved for use against Americans. Probably after being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA took the bureau off and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by, ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns make the public much less likely to suspect that we are doing bad, bad shit in the background. So, another awe behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring and for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tomasai out. This is going to make everybody who plays it paranoid as hell. What is this? Didn't we already watch this? We did. That's the, about the floppy disk. Okay, finally we can move on. Like I said, just so much information at some point i'm gonna have to make the decision if we're just gonna have to like like pause on it not necessarily read it and just move forward because it is so much that way i can pause on it long enough for you to be able to pause your screen and read it and when i play back the um the uh, video for editing purposes i can just read it then so i guess we'll kind of suck when i'm playing the game because i won't know exactly maybe what's happening in game Get out my way. Get out of my way. Yeah. Hey, guys. Whoa. What were y'all asleep? What the hell? No. I said water. You look thirsty. And you forgot to do your laundry. 
I don't worry, I got you. And you look cold. Oh, that didn't explode like I wanted. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I need, I need something to explode with. Give me, give me that. That, that should do just fine. That'll work. Yeah, stop the, stop that. It can stop bullets, but it can't stop explosions. All right, let's get this door open and find out what's on the other side because the director finally has level one access. Hello. Hello, Nosferatu. Defeat. Can fly now. Oh. Great. Can I fly? Thomas I. Thomas, stop it, Thomas. I. Hold up. Oh, I thought I was gonna be able to. Wow, he's good. He can dodge. Hold on. Ah, I tried to catch it. I'm trying to catch it in the air as he's throwing it. Okay, well, that, that backfired. Let's try that again, shall we? So I th So what I thought was going to happen was that he was going to throw it and then I was going to be able to collect it and then throw it back at him but clearly not so much. Down 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 down. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Come here, Tomasai. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, there we go. Down. Make sure they're not trying to flank me here. Should probably actually move from this area. Because he's getting closer. We're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna move from here. This just seems dangerous. Ooh. Definitely felt that. Alright. Can we, can we get him? Man, he's just really good at dodging. Hi, Thomasai. Did you let me hit you a few times so I don't feel like a complete chump? Making sure they don't try and come up behind me here. I don't think so. You're going you're gonna to take some of these bullets. You're going to take some of this gift I got for you. You ain't got to like it. But you're going to at least love it. If that ma that doesn't make sense. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm back. Oh, if I could just... If I could aim, I could probably get a lot farther here. Yeah, it's not working now. Uh-huh. You ain't the only one that can dodge. Looking like damn Blade 2 feature that can fly. Yes, elevated. I have a feeling he'll be back. Strange. Let's stay focused. I have the same feeling. The line should be past the mail room. Oh, his elevated. Here we go. His elevated agents display abilities similar to telekinetic competencies observed in Bureau para the utilitarian. Some prefer to charge their targets while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the his elevated due to their own talent in the area, which is why we couldn't throw shit at it. 
They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural abilities. Some Hiss Elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording and parapsychology. Are they able to use paranatural abilities? Is it possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption? It's also worth considering that the Hiss residents can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individuals it corrupts. Oh, so it awakens sleeping powers in those who didn't even know they had sleeping powers. The X-Gene. They can't go in there. What kind of damn director am I? Half the building I can't even get into. Music come from that, which makes a lot of sense that I think about it. Uh huh. All right. Well, let's see what's in here, shall we? Collectibles, case file, butt summary. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butt, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Okay. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at 22234 Hollywood Hills, Casanova, which had been connected to a total of eight disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house days later. Found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house, the light switch cord in the butt's home closet disappeared during this incident. Could you imagine seeing your partner go up and touch a cord and then disappear and then somebody coming up behind you saying yeah you next we want to make sure that's what really what did it i don't know where he went for all i know that was a gateway into hell oh god i hear you buddy i hear you Alberto tomasi head of comms we've seen tomasi's name somewhere else we definitely read his name already uh head of comms hey tell us about tomasi well done everyone it was a strong campaign and perfectly executed albert oh right the alaska incident with the bears well, oh, you got what you deserve, bud. Got him. I am not mad at that. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but you can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, it would be awesome to alter that and to show up inside a U.S. Embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier. Hey, are you still recording this? You never said stop recording, so yeah, absolutely. And you got exactly what you deserved. Are you up there so I can put a bullet in you? Assholes in here just killing people, man. I hate that shit. Uh, okay, where are we going here? <laughs> the hotline can't be far now. I say I hate that shit. Like, just right now, there is a government agency that only deals in extraterrestrial or uh, psychic, telekinetic uh, um, objects. Ooh, I love the way they do those chapters, dude. That is so dope. Um, objects, and then they're like blaming the uh, the economy, uh, the um, environment, and other foreign powers for. Uh, people getting hurt like it just happens all the time i wish this thing would let me it doesn't always tell you what exactly you picked up oh yeah we already got that all right tomasai tomasai i hear a phone is that the direct is that for me is that is that phone for me hold on i gotta read a report hotline security log oh another report okay Hotline security log. All right. All visitors must check in. Director Trench checked in at 2.45 to 12. Damn, even the director has to check in, huh? Bill Everett, director, director, Bill, director, 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 Bill, director, Bill. Carol, the custodian. I'm sure if I really focused in on that, that probably told me something important, but, uh... Oh, this is the Professor X room. I mean, the Magneto room. I'm gonna turn. Am I gonna turn invisible? Oh, ho ho ho! What? Uh, can I?
Yikes, 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 yikes. So many guys. They just keep coming. They don't stop. My gosh, are you kidding me? There's more. And my aiming is just not helping me today. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. All right, take this down. Okay. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry. All right, so I probably didn't show it, but I just I got sent back to the checkpoint, and then I had to come through this that entrance again where we fought the uh, the tele flying dude, levitating guy, and when I say. There was at least a good 30 enemies sitting waiting for me. There was at least a good 30 enemies sitting waiting for me. All right, let's try this again. Now what? Come to me. Ah! That that did nothing. Press it again. All right, maybe uh, um, because I tried. Whoa. Have we been here before? What the hell? No. I, I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. I tell you what, Black Pyramid's on the door. Aren't those, this door, aren't those the doors we're supposed to be looking out for? Hmm. Where's the other Black Pyramid at? Uh, I saw it. Here's one. Okay. This game looks beautiful, man. I mean, I can't stress that enough. It looks amazing. What do we got here? Hello? Hello? Oh, she got it for me. Anyone here? Yep, you got it. I'm sorry, let me let you do your thing. You do the commentary. Okay, there's a letter outside. Hello? A little odd that nobody's here. This quaint hotel motel holiday inn all right well then that's interesting maybe uh press it again maybe somebody will show up maybe they didn't hear, it hear us the first time again and verse the ocean view don't nobody hear me all right let me try uh door again huh here all right i have no gun i have no ability so this must be pre all of that if this is a memory click it again uh did this door open up now nope still very locked i am so confused i am i am just so confused What the hell is going on? Wait, is that light always there? Wait, when did this door open? How the hell did this? I'm so confused about what we did. I, I don't know. I don't know how the hell we ended up on this side. The key has a black pyramid on it. I don't know what we did to to deserve that. I don't know if it was pressing the, um, the, um, the bell three times, or if it was because we transversed between this world and our world three times, but whatever. I mean, we're here now. Aha! This is a weird clicker, man. It's, I mean, like, I don't think this game is supposed to be horror, but if it was, it'd be... It would have some unique uh, things going on that would make me think that it was dope as hell. All right, pick up the hotline. Cool. Like that. Like, this was a cool little segment, even though I don't really know what I did to uh, get past it. 
This is Magneto speaking. Complete the astro plane chat. Well, let me put my water down. I'm sorry. Let's get to it. Let's make it poppin'. You know I love these challenges. What uh, new power am I gonna gain here? Oh yeah. Oh, we we almost whiffed that one. Not gonna lie. A lot of rocks seem to be floating over there. Oh, that's not rocks. It's an enemy. The hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Do I do I want to do that? I was always told not to talk to strangers. Okay, yep, no, it's an enemy. Yep, it's an enemy. Yep, yep, we don't want to talk. 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 Oh, God. We oh, okay, I'm glad we can't die here. All right, so... Got it. Lesson one. We don't want to talk. I can't even tell if I'm hurting that thing. I don't... Yeah, I don't think it cares. So I may have to try and... Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and like lure it one way so I can go the other way. Oh my god! Thanks, board. Thanks for uh, keeping me alive. Try this again. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. All right. I wish I got some new ability like super speed or something. That'd be really cool and useful right now. Yeah, okay. That's alright. We're actually pretty fast by ourselves. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Had to put the moves on them. Oh, I can't tell if there's space between them, but I'm not going to take that chance anymore. I'm just going to jump. There we go. Thank you. We Weekly calls. Like, I actually have to do that? It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. We're still in the director's chair. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I get it now. The only person you should fail is yourself. Don't fail other people. I guess is what he's trying to say, right? Whoa. Gotta wipe that up. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. Or... I need to get back to Emily. Or, or, just hear me out, the phone, which can reach... People react strongly when I tell them about you. Or... Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Maybe. Are you done? Okay. Or, it could be that the phone is talking to the director wherever he may be now. Whatever the next phase of life is for him, we now have access to talk to him instead of just listening to an echo. 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 Alright, well, let's go see, uh... Wait, we came from that way. Yeah, document case files butt supplement did we already pick up the butt supplement I swear we looked at the butt supplement uh object should be inaccessible for use except to the director object is a 1960s era red bake light telephone the rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose the phone weighs why is that important why is the weight of the phone blacked out the object allows the director to communicate with the dead. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal death. 
The object is currently bound in the director trench, but now it's mine. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office, placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including death and death, but its origin remains unknown. Uh, oh, here we go, the butt. Uh, according to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the butt home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. See, file, blah, blah, blah. The key opened a door. Oh, so there was a ritual that we completed. I just don't know what that ritual was. I just did everything in three because the little postcard or whatever uh, little placard said the law of three applies. Um, after a lengthy, uh, the key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. Disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals of the butt have been attributed to light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Oh, I'm glad we only saw a few then. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the butt home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, a certain amount of light cords have been found in the oldest house located in a bunch of places and sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is but initial hypothesis centers on the butt all. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I pass the center on the butt all as a mm mm. Oh man. Jalapenos. Yikes. Hotline. We already read. We already saw that. I don't get it. So this is like things I can call trench control points hotline. We can call them a. What does this mean? Oh, those are the. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool, I guess. Yeah, dope. All right. All right, let's go back to Emily then. Let's see what's going on with Miss Emily. Oh. He had a direct access from his office to the hotline room. That makes sense. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we don't have to, like, run all the way back. That's dope. Emily! Oh, I have level one access now. <laughs> I'm going in here. Agent death notification. So many stories, so little time. Did I miss it? Where's it at? Singing fish. Nope. Nope. Um, where's it at? Filter. Oh, here we go. Uh, Dear Mr. and Miss Potts, I regret to inform you that your son, Graham Potts, was killed in active duty this past week. While the details surrounding his death are classified, I am honored to tell you that he died in the service of his country. Remember the key words that we were told to remember? Yeah. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger and his commitment to protecting our nation against our enemies. He will be remembered by his comrades and colleagues. I sincerely regret the pain this message will bring you. Take some solace in knowing that his sacrifice helped protect the country he loves so much. His effects will be returned to you with all speed. Sincerely yours, Howard J. Murray, Deputy Chief of Communications, Federal Bureau of Control. Yeah, what they really mean is he touched a telescope and it turned his insides outsides and now his ass is where his mouth is. That's how it works in this control this place. But serving your country sounds a lot better. You're right. Weapon armor damage. How do I unlock more mod spaces? What does this do? Damage against enemy armor plus 39. What do we have right now? Headshot damage? Have I been in here before? Uh hello? Oh yeah, we'll take that. Sure, why not? Material, unrefined reading. Now, okay. Just want to make sure that doesn't open something. Oh, here we go. Knew there had to be some reading here somewhere. Awe investigations. Uh, Marshall, we checked out the suspected awe and Doolith wasn't anything just like the house fire before this. And the, mal and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake awes from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're on route to Sermon Root. To Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Hmm. I mean, again, I'll say it later. These correspondents really do help shed light on what they were doing in this building. So it is really vital that these are here. Because it's helping me so much feeling like a lot of the story. Uh, listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. The problems you would face in an organization like that are hilarious. Like, <laughs> a disappearing shitter is hilarious. Hello, Emily. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? 
Sorry. A lot of questions. You made it. I want to read this thing right here first. Emily? Initial impression. Sorry, I don't know if I cut somebody off. I hope I didn't. I just want to read this and get it over with. Initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of, to that of the other hiss that I have dismissed the theory. Oh. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the hiss corruption. We tested its ability on the hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately, the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology becomes reliant on the hiss. More work to be done. I never thought about the fact. Of course. That a part of the hiss may have become separated from the main body and invaded Jesse's body, and thus she's able to do all these things. Kind of like that uh, anime symbiote, I think, it, no, Parasite, where, you know, everybody else's Parasite was kind of evil and controlling them and ate them, versus his was only able to get into his hand, and thus they, like, formed a symbiotic relationship that, uh, you know, essentially turned them, quote unquote, good. The Parasite, anyway. I got the hotline. I can make out what Chunch is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. And I shot him. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Oh God. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. So oh. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find the way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. Don't let, we could find out something that would help don't us. Don't let her start poking you. Tests. I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Oh, God. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. It's like the bottom of a swimming pool. Is this a building and the shot's going up, or is this the bottom of a damn swimming pool? It's got mad Stranger Things vibes. Oh, there's that damn janitor, man. Uh-huh. What aren't you telling us? Known caller completed. Blah, 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 blah. We got a bunch of stuff too. New mission directorial override upgraded lockability from the nearest control point. Oh, so that's where we're gonna spin stuff at. Okay, board countermeasures are now available from the nearest control point. Board countermeasures, weapon forms, and mods can now be crafted at the nearest control point. Okay, what else you got for me? That was a lot for just beating that one chapter. Wow. Um. Well, I guess you know what time it is. We're gonna go ahead and say goodbye at this point. 
Um, I feel like we got a, a good chunk of an episode there. We managed to do a lot, and we got uh, so much more to look uh, forward to. And I gotta say, man, more than anything, like I already said, the gameplay is super fun. Like, the powers are great, really fun to use, but the story is also really hooking me. Like, it... I don't know, man. I, I wouldn't even mind putting down a controller and just watching this unfold. Like, that's how good the story is to me right now, because it does seem so unique and not something I've seen done before too often. Um, or, hey, me, I see you in the background. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. Or just period. Like, I just, I haven't seen... I. Off the top of my head, I haven't seen a story done like this before in this way. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what's coming next. Hopefully you're still enjoying the game as much as I am playing it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below on what the hell is going on. Maybe you've seen the game before and you've got some helpful tips to, tips to give me. Because as you can see, I'm just kind of stumbling through it all right now. But uh, yeah, leave whatever you feel like leaving in the comments below. I'll make sure to get all uh, to all of it. And if you're enjoying the video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. I want to thank you all for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Deuces.